Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we have a puff stitch variation here um, where we're doing this kind of in a nine structure. So later on we will have nine um, loops on the hook where we will pull the thread through. And that's how we will create these puffs. They're kind of big, they're pretty like thick and fluffy. Um, yeah, just a really nice structure here for this scarf. It's really easy. Um, in the next row, you always just go around um, the chain stitch here that are in between um, the puff stitches. So it's really, really easy, um, easy to follow. How exactly I did this, I'm gonna show you now. Have fun. All right, guys, so this is um, my Riverton yarn. This is what I'm gonna use for this tutorial. Um, I bought this a few months ago at Action. Um, I think it's really cute with the color fade here. Um, it's 60% acrylic, 40% polyester. It's 150 grams and 240 meters. Um, and then let's see, it's recommended for a size 4.5 crocheting hook, but I'm actually going to use my size 6 um, because it just works well for me. All right, so I'm pulling out the thread here from the middle. So I'm going to just Pull a little more here just so we have some wool already out on the table. You can already kind of see here the color fade. We kind of start in the blue and then it goes more into the violet um, purple color. I'm going to start here with um, chain stitches and we will do an uneven amount of chain stitches. I'm going to do 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so we have fifteen chain stitches here. Then we will skip the first two, wrap around, go into the third one here, pull the thread through, and now we have three on the hook. Then we will do that again, loop around, pull through. Now we have five on the hook. Now again, loop around, pull through. Seven on the hook. Uh, yes, seven. And then we will do it again. So we have nine loops on the hook. All right, just to organize the thread a little bit here. Then we're gonna take the thread and pull it through all nine loops on the hook. And then we add a chain stitch. Then here we will skip one chain stitch and into the next one we will do the exact same thing. So three on the hooks, three on the hook, pull through again, five on the hook, loop around, pull through, seven on the hook, and now we have nine. Um, it's always important that you have it nice and loose so that we can pull the thread through all nine loops easily. Then again, we add a chain stitch, skip um, one at the bottom, and then into the next one, do the same exact thing. Seven, nine, and then we pull it through all and add a chain stitch. Then here again, skip one at the bottom and into the next one, we do the exact same thing. So now we have three, now we have five, now we have seven, and now again, and we have nine. Pull it through all nine and add a chain stitch. And then here again. Seven and nine, pull through all nine. You can see how big these puffs are getting, um, which is really cool, I love it. Chain stitch. And then here again, three, five, seven, nine. Pull through all and add a chain stitch. All right. For the next row, we add two chain stitches for height. We turn it around and always here around the chain stitches that are in between the puffs. We go in and we do exactly the same pattern. Until we have nine on the hook and then we pull through all nine and add a chain stitch. Then in between the next two puffs around the chain stitch, we do the exact same thing. So five, seven, nine loops on the hook, 
pull through all nine, and add a chain stitch. Then again, five, seven, nine, pull through all, and chain stitch. Pull through all, chain stitch. Here again. Three, five, seven, and nine. Pull through all. You actually get in a really nice rhythm with this one, I, I think. It's not, you don't really have to think about it. <laughs> chain stitch here and then um, around the chain stitches here that we started the row with, we do the exact same thing again. Seven, nine, and pull through all. And chain stitches here, two chain stitches always at the end to start the new row. Then we turn it around and go back. Three, five, seven, nine, pull through all, chain stitch. Here again. Five, seven, nine, pull through all, chain stitch. And this is how we continue. Nine, pull through all, chain stitch. Um, I'm going to continue doing this and I will give you an update in a little while. Okay guys, so this is my update for you guys. Um, as you can see, this is beautiful. It's really nice and voluminous. I'm trying to show it here from the side. Um, it's super soft and, and cozy and um, I love the color fade, honestly. Um, you can obviously kind of scrunch it up when you're wearing it and then kind of the holes will disappear a little bit more. And yeah, just I love this puff stitch. I think it looks so nice. And um, this is the Niner version. Thank you guys for watching DIY Ideas. I really hope that you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free. And then I'll see you next time at DIY Ideas.